Today I'm going to be talking to you about our development of magnetically damped check valves. So this is a standard check valve, um, and these are actually used all over various launch vehicles and spacecraft. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, and it's actually a really good valve, um, but under certain flow conditions, uh, they are susceptible to something called check valve chatter. So what we're doing with the magnetically damped check valve is utilizing the lens effect inside a copper um, base valve body um, in an attempt to uh, preclude or reduce check valve chatter. So a check valve, um, they're used all over launch vehicles and spacecraft. They allow flow to go in one direction and will stop flow from going the opposite direction of either gas or fluids. One phenomenon check valves um, can sometimes struggle with is called check valve chatter. So essentially either the flow rate isn't high enough or the pressure gradient across the valve isn't high enough. The poppet inside, which is the part which stops flow, will end up chattering against um, the seat of the valve, which is the part which it's trying to seal against. So um, on various spacecraft and launch vehicles, if they're in this condition um, over a long period of time, that can result in uh, foreign object debris. One type of damper, which uh, we looked into, um, utilizes something called the lens effect. So essentially, if you have a magnet passing through a copper pipe, that magnet induces an electrical current within the copper, and that electrical current in turn creates a magnetic field which repels the magnet motion. So what you end up having is uh, a damper kind of like you would uh, with an oil damper in your car uh, tire shocks, um, but it doesn't have to contact another part of the valve. So what we wanted to do was take that lens effect damper and put it within a check valve um, to try and see if we could create a magnetically damped check valve. Other industries um, which use check valves outside of aerospace, um, oil and gas would be a big one. Um, they could certainly benefit from this. And then additionally, uh, various manufacturing plants in production of really just about anything. They're going to be using uh, tooling which has pneumatic supplies, uh, which will probably also have check valves in their system. So obviously those facilities uh, don't want the introduction of foreign object debris, uh, which could then lead to downtime.